Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here in Chicago, bringing you some commentary here on the energy market. So let's get started. Crude prices are quite a bit firmer here. Uh, started off was a little quieter this morning with a slightly firmer tone. We got the EIA data out and crude prices started uh, moving higher. Currently we're trading around about uh, 58 to 45 a barrel, up a, uh, about a dollar 40. It's about a two and a half percent move higher. So certainly seen some strength there. I think crude prices are starting to break out at these prices. Uh, natural gas is firmer, up about four to five cents. That's almost two percent. Uh, taking a look at the complex, RBOB is up about uh, two and a quarter, and the heat's up about two and three quarters. So overall, firmer tone. And you know, you take a look, you know, I mentioned the EIA data, you know, traders were looking for a build in the stockpiles, again, about one and three quarter million barrels. The build came in at about 1.9 million barrels, so pretty much in line with expectations. But I think what traders are taking away from the report here, did you look at the, the stocks at Cushing's, Oklahoma, and we actually saw uh, the stocks there drop a little bit, about half a million barrels. So we didn't see a big build there, and, and I think that's what traders were kind of keying in on. In addition to that, take a look at the dollar index here today. The dollar is substantially weaker. Um, you know, we've got uh, uh, first quarter GDP numbers uh, a little bit worse than expected here, and we really saw the dollar uh, kind of making a move lower, and I think that's uh, supportive here to crude oil and commodities in general. In addition to that, Saudi Arabia uh, coming out, and, and they said that current uh, uh, market conditions here for oil they think are very good right now. Their production, although continues to uh, increase, it's running at near record highs. But nonetheless, traders kind of keying on that the Saudis feel that uh, the mar overall market conditions and the demand for oil is still very strong. In addition to that, the geopolitical risk still, I think, continues to get built into the market. Uh, as we know, you know, the Saudis are still targeting some areas there in Yemen with missile strikes. We still have the situation. Uh, it's kind of still slowly unfolding between the U.S. and Iran as obviously the talks have really shifted there from the, the talks of reaching some type of nuclear deal to the idea that the, the Iranians could be potentially supplying uh, arms uh, 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 to some of the rebels there in Yemen. So certainly we have that, so we got to watch that and see how that may potentially uh, continue to develop. Now, in addition to that, uh, you take a look at the technical factors here in the market. And this is something I wrote about in yesterday's uh, eView, which is our bi-monthly uh, newsletter. I write the column there in the oil market. If you don't uh, get that or you'd like to check that out, give me a call, shoot me an email, we'll get you signed up for that. But you know, I talked a lot in there about the technical picture. And right now, you know, crude prices, after making about a $12 move up here, uh, for the last about two weeks roughly, crude prices have really been consolidating. And I think that the market looking for or uh, a potential breakout. As we're starting to see here today, uh, my opinion here, I think the market is starting to break out here to the upside. So really uh, pay attention here to today's closing prices. That can continue to give us here short-term direction. At this stage, though, uh, in my opinion, I, I think traders should remain uh, cautiously bullish on the oil market. If you'd like some ideas on how you can potentially participate in this market, give me a call, shoot me an email, and we can talk strategies. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.